What is going on guys? Welcome back to LT2 Review. Just before we get started, smash that subscribe button and click the little bell icon for post notifications so you never miss out on one of our videos. So today we're going to be teaching you guys how to put a video or a subscribe button on screen on the end of one of your videos and we're going to be teaching you guys that right now. So let's get into it. Alrighty, so here we are. So the first step to this process is you have to come up here to your icon um, and if you are not signed in then signing in will definitely help because you can't do anything unless you're signed in so you're gonna want to come up here to your little icon click on it and then go to YouTube studio underneath um, and then once you get into YouTube studio um, what you're gonna want to do is you want to you're gonna want to come over here and click videos Okay, so once you're in videos, you're going to want to go to any of your videos and, like, let's pick this one, for example. What you're going to want to do is click the little pencil icon, which means edit. So once you go to, and details, um, so you can do, use that. So what you're going to want to do is scroll all the way to the bottom, and then once you're all the way to the bottom and you can't scroll down any further, you're going to come over here to the right-hand side of your screen, and you're, it's going to say end screen, and then you're going to have that pencil icon again. You're going to want to click on the pencil um, and then this is your most important part right here so what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to wanna click on the very end of your video and right here it's kinda hard to see but it says thanks for watching there you are you can see it right there um, and that's right where I want my subscribe plaque so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here to plus element which means add element you're gonna wanna click on that then you can either add a video a playlist of subscribe or a channel so today we're focusing on a video and a subscribe so what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to click on video that's what I'm gonna do first now here it is and YouTube recommends video that's most recent upload so my most recent upload for example was today and that that is going to be the video that comes up on that screen um, but to, let's say I come out with one with tomorrow then that will come up there it's the most recent at it's is as of most updated so but let's say you're like you know what I really don't want that let's say you're like I want the one that my that my viewers are gonna like the most then I recommend clicking the best for viewer well let's say you want to click you want to have a specific video then you can do that there and then it brings all of your videos and then you can click that one and then it just brings you here again so right here I'm going to want to drag that there um, and then I'm also going to add another one um, I'm going to want to do so element add element then video again and then best for viewer because um, YouTube understands that you already have your most recent one so it recommends the next one down because you can't have two of the same one also if you have them overlapping it doesn't work um, so you have to make sure that they're nicely spread apart and something that's helpful is that if you have them overlapping your whole screen goes red and you just know that something's wrong but then when you don't have them overlapping it goes blue and you know that everything's going smoothly so that's helpful so the next part is that you go to add element again and let's say you want to hit have a subscribe button on the end so you hit subscribe right there and then here is your subscribe um, circle so right here is your icon and then right here in the video when you hover over the spot it's gonna say subscribe and then it'll give you a little bit of info about the channel so right here I'm going to want that right in the top hand corner just like that and then the nice part is that at the end of the at the end of your video it shows you all of the things that you've added so you've added a video most recent upload another video best for viewer and then a subscribe circle so that's all very helpful and also you have to have at least one video or playlist you can't have um, just a subscribe circle I'm not totally sure why but that's how YouTube wants it and um, so uh, that's how we're gonna do it so final step is once you have it exactly how you want it you're gonna come up here and hit save and then once that's saved at the end of your video it will pop up toward the very end and um, that's all you got to do um, so uh, I'm gonna show you guys an example of this just so you can kind of see what I'm talking about here um, so I'm gonna go to my re most recent video um, check it out by the way link in the description um, and also it's at the end of this video so uh, it um, says that but uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna come here so as you can see right here um, when I click on my video um, right here you can see 
this is my most recent video, right here they pop up. So when you hover over this, it says subscribe, and then it says the name of the channel, and then it also says my most recent upload, which um, right now it's kind of the default settings for me, but uh, like let's say a viewer clicked on this video, then they would be able to see my most recent upload and my best for a viewer video. So that's all there is to it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and thanks for making it to the end of the video once again. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff, and uh, let me know in the t comment section below what kind of uh, new talents you guys are learning like um, I don't know Bob Rossing or karate just like this you think anybody wants a roundhouse kick to the face while I'm wearing these bad boys forget about it so um, let me know so uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, we'll see you next time